Okay, now, uh, we are on case three. We want to look at problem 12. And look at how this specific program, uh, problem is, is uh, captured or is, is put before you. The probability that, I'm saying that problem 12, the probability that Yao, Opoku and Dan surpass examination are 1 over 3, 3 over 7, and 1 over 2, respectively. What is the probability that I, all of them passed? I, I, none of them passed. I, 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 at least one of them passed. Then I, the only one of them passed. Okay. The probability that Yao, Opoku and Dan surpass examination are 1 over 3, comma, 3 over 7 and 1 over 2, respectively. What's the probability that I, all of them pass? I, I, none of them pass. I, 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 at least one of them pass. And I, the only one of them pass. So, uh, we're letting Y represent what? Yao repre uh, y represent Yao. And then, uh, so over here, we, after representing them, let y be the uh, probability that yao pass on. So we have py. Py means, I'm saying that let py, comma, p o. And P D represent represent probabilities that Yao, comma uh, Opoku and Danso passed. Exams. Now look at what I'm going to do. So you say that PY is equal to what? 1 over 3. Right? Which implies that PY bar. Uh -huh. PY means probability that Yao pass. So PY bar means probability that Yao does not pass. The moment you see the bar on top of the letter, it means he does not pass. Uh, it's 1 minus PY, which is equal to 1 minus 1 over 3. And that will be 2 over 3. Let me explain this. Anytime you are subtracting, in any case, anytime you are writing examination, the probability of you passing plus probability of you failing should be equal to 1. So if you have, let's say, PY, the probability of passing, plus PY bar, probability of face, uh, failing. When you sum them, you should be able to get 1. It's like you are writing exams, and the total is 70, a, a 100. If you score 70, then you, you, you didn't get 30 correct. So 30 plus the 70 gives you 100. So over here, if I want... Now we know PY pass. So if, if I want PY bar, it means by probability, by change of size, PY bar will be what? 1 minus PY. I hope you are getting the point. This one crosses there. So this is the nature of this question. That is how we are going about it. So I subtracted one third from this. So let's look at a simplest way of doing this fraction. If I have, let's say, 1 minus 3 over 10. The answer is 7 over 10 straight away. I want you to get this concept clear. Anytime you're subtracting a proper fraction from 1, just subtract the top numerator from the denominator. That will give you what? 7. Then you maintain the denominator. So let's say 1 minus 20 over uh, 35. What is the answer? Straight away. Subtract 20 from 35, you get what? 15. Then you maintain the 35 at the base. 
Okay. One minus, let's say, eight over 15. What's the answer? Subtract the eight from 15. You get seven. Then you maintain the 15 down. If you want to cross check it, let's see this. One minus eight over 15. This is over one. If I want to find LCM, LCM here is what? 15. One goes into 15, 15. 15 goes into 15. One times eight is eight. That's why you see, we see 15 minus eight. That will be seven over 15. So I want you to get that concept clearer. Okay. After that, then we can move very fast. So over there, I'm saying that. So let me rewrite it again. Let me pull it here a little bit. So I'm saying uh, PY is equal to what? 1 over 3. It implies PY bar is equal to 1 minus 1 over 3, which is 2 over 3. I've already explained to you how we got it. Then we come to the next person's what? P also P, which is Opoku, is equal to what? 3 over 7. It implies that P over is equal to 1 minus 3 over 7. And that is equal to what? 4 over 7. How do I get 4 over 7? I subtracted this 3 from the 7. I got 4 over the 7. Then the last person is what? PB. Probability that down so pass is 1 over 2. So P D bar 1 minus 1 over 2, which is also the same as the half. So always note that they will give you this one, but they will not give you this. You, you have to calculate for this. And if you calculate for this, all of them, they, they carry marks. Now, after getting this, then it says that probability that all of them pass. So P or passed will be equal to what? It will be equal to P, P, Y times P, O times P, what? D. Okay. Probability that all of them passed. Normally, the multiplication uh, condition, you normally write this. P, this, and here also that. Before we convert, so P, Y times, this one tends to multiplication, P, O times P, D. Here, we are saying that probability that Yao pass and uh, Opoku pass and Danso pass, so N tends to multiplication, whereas R tends to addition. So over here, what is P, Y? P, Y is 1 over 3, watch here, watch this side, times P, O. 3 over 7 times PD, 1 over 2. Okay. When you work it out, you are going to get 1 over 14. So probability that all of them pass is what? It's 1 over 14. Okay. Then P none passed. That is none of them passed. That would be what? The bar bar we got. So it would be PY bar, then P what? Uh, o bar, the bar bar, times P, P, D bar, okay? Now, so it is bar bar bar. So look at it, what are the bars? So we have what? Two over three times, or say doesn't pass is what? Four over seven times, down so doesn't pass is what? One over two. And when you work it out. Now, let me show you a trick here. Sometimes, if you think you get confused, just multiply this by this on your calculator. You are going to get 8 over 42 on your calculator. The moment you, 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 you click 8 over 42, then you click is equal to automatically, the calculator will reduce it to the lowest term for you. It will be 4 over 21. If you think the cancellation will confuse you, just multiply this by this and write the answer, 8. Multiply this by this and write the answer. The amount to click is, is equal to the calculator will reduce it to the lowest term for you. That's all. I hope you, you, you've got a point. 
So this is the II. P non passed. Then we come to IV or III. P at least one word passed. P at least one passed is equal to one minus P non pass. I'm repeating. First, you say probability that all of them pass is PY pass times PO pass and PD pass. We multiply the respective fractions and we got this one. P non pass, the non, we got them from these fractions. Is that okay? So once again, over here, we will be having, uh, are you following? Are you getting the point I'm trying to make? Yes. So, P, Y, bar, and bar, bar, bar. Then we got this. Okay. And I said that if you think the cancellation will confuse you, just multiply straight away like this. You get 8 here. Multiply this, you get 42. The amount you click is equal to, you get 4 over 21. Okay. Now, P at least 1 pass is given by this formula. 1 minus P non pass. Automatic. So, it is 1 minus. What is your P non pass? 1 over, uh, sorry, 4 over 21. And I've taught you how to subtract proper fraction from 1. Just subtract this, you get to a 17 over 21. I hope you're okay. That is the P, uh, at least 1 pass is 1 minus P non pass. Where P non pass is 4 over 21. 4 over 21. Now, uh, I have to clean here because I will need this for something very, very useful. P non pass is given by what? A P at least one pass is equal to what? One minus P non pass. So until you calculate a P non pass, you cannot calculate at least one pass. Let's, let's note that. They said P, P uh, only one pass. So here we use some trick. Either only one pass, either the first person pass. So either we have what? PY times P, who is the second person? O bar times P D bar. That means in the first case, let the first person pass. The person who passed does not have the bar. Or Second person pass in the second bracket. So P, Y bar, this man field, times P, O. O, no bar. Times P, D bar. Let, carefully follow what I'm saying. Probability that only one pass. Either in the first bracket, let the first person pass, the rest fail. In the second bracket, let the second person pass. The person who passed is not having a bar on his head. Or... In the third bracket, let the third person pass. So it will be P Y bar times what? Times P O bar times P D. I hope you are getting it. Now, in probability, the moment you see or it tends to plus. So here becomes plus plus. So we are now going to substitute the, the values. So what is P Y? The y, if it is not having by, you look at it. If it is it having by, you look at that side. So PY is 1 over 3. Times PO bar, bar, you go there. O bar is what? 4 over 7. Times PD bar, 1 over 2. In one bracket. When there is half, then it means the half and this complement, they are all the same. So or PY bar, what is PY bar? PY bar is 2 over 3. Times PO. PO is what? 3 over 7. Times PD bar. D bar is what? 1 over 2. Plus, in the third case, PY bar. What is Y bar? PY bar is 2 over 3. Times PO bar. 4 over 7. Times PD. 1 over 2. I hope you are following the point I'm trying to make. Very, very important. In the first bracket, let the first person pass. In the second bracket, let the second person pass. In the third bracket, let the third person pass. So now, there's another trick here. 
This is addition, okay? The trick here is that don't, don't, don't cancel anything. If you cancel it, the denominators will change. Just multiply them straight away so that you get like fraction. So here, this time this, we get top to be 4, down to be what? 42, we got 21, 42. Plus, in this bracket, we have 6 over 42. When you multiply, the denominator will not change. Plus, 8 over 42. Have you seen that? Since I didn't cancel anything, if you had canceled, you would have got some 21 and 42 here and there. But if you don't cancel, you multiply straight away. That's what we're going to get. Now, now it is a, 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 a like fraction. So you just write your 42, common 42 here. Here is 4. Here is 6. And here is 8. Just sum them up. This one will give you 10, 18, right? Over 42. Now, if you, if you, if you face any difficulty in canceling it, just compute 18 divided by 42, you get 18 over 42. The one to click is equal to, it will reduce it for you to, uh, uh, I think, uh, three goes into this one is what? Uh, uh, six. Then three goes here, what? Uh, three goes into this one, six. And then three goes to 42 by what? Is it 13 or so? Is it 13? No, it's, it's 14. 14. So this one could still be reduced to 3 over 7. Okay. But to cut it short, when you just compute 18 over 42, the moment you click, it's equal to, it will, it will reduce it to the lowest term for you. Okay. Now, a similar question is in the uh, problem uh, 12B. Similar one. Probability that three girls, Ousu, Adansua, and Yabua, do the assignment are uh, 1 over 3, 2 over 5, and then 2 over 3, respectively. What is the probability that all the girls do the assignment? None of them does her assignment. Ousia and Yabua did, but Dansua does not. Then, at least one of them does her assignment. Okay. Ousia and Dansua. So this one, you have to try it yourself. 12B, problem 12B. Probability that three girls, Ousia, Dansua, and Yabua, that is in your short, 12B. Okay. Do their assignment. What's the probability that uh, all of them do the assignment? None of them do the assignment. Ousia and the boy do, but Dansua does not do uh, assignment. So in this case, you know what, what, to, what to do. Hmm? Ousia and the boy did it, but Dansua does not. So in that case, it will be P Ousia times P Dansua times P, uh, P Ousia times P what? Yabua times P Dansua bar. P uh, to what? P O times P Y times P D bar. Then you work it out and get. Okay? So that is uh, 12B. So we are moving straight to the to the to the to the 13. Mm. To the 13. Okay, the 13 is similar to the previous one that if if uh, uh, let me see. Uh-huh. This very problem 13, I want us to see something under the aspect of probability. I want us to see something. Sometimes this one is also a little bit confusing. Where you'll be having some intersection element somewhere within the set. So problem 13. Let us look at it so that I'll show you a trick here once again. 13. A number is to be picked at random from the set. A. Set A to be. What are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, possibly 11. A number is to be picked at random from this set. Okay, 11. Then he says that, what's the probability that a number is either a multiple of 2, or a factor of 12. So here, let's look at multiples of 2. So now I'll show you something. Multiple of what? Of 2. Within this set is what? It's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 10. Good. It says, or factor of what? Or factor of 12. So let's look at factor 
of what? 12. Now, factors of 12 are what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. But here's the case we don't have 12, so it's up to 6. Now, if I call this A, and I call this whole thing B, then we say that, uh, so here, watch here. So in this case, N A, okay, let me bring it here. And the number of elements in A is equal to what? One, two, three, four, five. Then N, B. I hope you are getting the point I'm making. We have got out of one common set, I've got two different sets inside. Subset. N, A is this. N, B. How many? One, two, three, four. Is it five? A. Okay, that is also five. Factors of 12. We've got, we have, we've got what? Uh, also five. Wow. Now, you see we have N. Uh, that is, we have A intersection B. I'm talking about set A intersection B in this case. You know we have set A here, set B here. But A intersection, see, there is something, there are certain elements that are in both A and B as well. Multiple of 2 is, is described as set A. Multiple of uh, 12, which is the, uh, described as set B, okay? So, A intersection B, what is the element here and here as well? We are going to have 2, mm -hmm, uh, we have 2, what about, do we have 6? Oh, we have 2, 4, and 6, right? 2 is common here. 4 is common here. And 6 is common here. So, once again, what is N? A intersection B. It's 3. Number of elements in A intersection B is 3. So, if you want to get probability P uh, uh, what? Intersection A or B. Then we are going to get that's P, A, or B. It's going to be what? It's going to be N, A plus N, B minus N, A intersection B. That means the intersection element should, uh, should be taken away because they repeat themselves in, in, in two ways. So we have to take them away. All over N total. Please get this right. So what is NA? NA is, number of elements in A is 5. NB is also what? 5. Okay. Then minus, intersection is what? 3. All over the total. What is the total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All over 11. So when we work it out, we are going to get 10 minus 3, which is 7. So 7 over 11. Please take note of this carefully. We were given one common set, and out of the set, we have, out of the set, first set is what? Multiples of two, that's what we got. Okay, second set is factors of 12. One, two, three, four, and six. It, it, 12 should have been included, but since the, the universal set doesn't contain 12, we left it at this point, okay? Then we say that if here is set A, then we have N, a number of elements in A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Number of elements in B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is N, B. But there are certain elements that have repeated themselves twice. So if we decide to say that N, A, 5 plus this, uh, we, we tend to uh, include certain elements twice. So now, this is what we have got. After we've got the intersection, intersection elements are elements that have appeared in both sides. We have 2, we have 4, and we have 6. So we subtracted the intersection element, then all over the total, and we got 7 over, uh, what do you call, 11. Exactly. Now, problem 14. 
is similar to that of uh, the previous problem that we have, we have solved. Just that, uh, here, the problem 14, let me just give you a clue here. Can I clean? Yes, I think I can clean it. Okay. Problem 14, we are done with problem 13. Problem 14, okay. Problem 14 is this. Here, uh, this is the question. He says that set u, set u problem 14. Please, we are dealing with probability. Proba, probability is what we are, we, are, we, are, we are working on. Probability, okay? Now, he said that universal set u, u is equal to, u is equal to, uh, x is like that, we have three, x, 12, where, where, X is an integer. This is your X or X. It's an integer. It means here, yeah, we have to re, 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 redefine them or re-indicate the terms. This term, if you want to interpret it under linear inequalities, we are going to have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Why? Why is it leaving? Because this sign, if there were to be a sign under this one, then 3 would have been included. And if there is a sign under this one, like 12 would have been included. But as it stands now, this is how the definition is going to be. Then they are asking us that probability of getting, what's, if the number is chosen at random, what's the probability that it is at least 5? In any case, what is n total? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The total is 8. And he's asking us probability of getting at least 12. So at least, at least what? Well, let me see once again. Sorry, at least 5. The least is 5. So what is the set? Set of at least 5. The least is 5. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So how many are they? At least 5. At least 5. We have, that means apart from this one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So at least 5 will be what? Will be 7 over 8. That's all. But the least is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you were to say at most five, it would have been, the highest is five, it would have been one, two, so it would have been four and five, and that would be two. So it would be two over the total. By at least five means the numbers here, total of numbers here over the total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Over the total, eight. That's what we got. So P at most eight. Hmm. What is the set? Set of at most, in the highest is eight, we have what? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So what's the number of events here? At most, eight. The highest is eight. One, two, three, four, five, right? It is five. So P event, or P at most, eight, is five over eight. Okay. Then it says a number between what? 6 and 10 inclusive. Between 6 and 10 inclusive, what are the numbers? Mm -hmm. Between 6 and 10 inclusive, we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many are they? 5. Between 6 and 10 inclusive, 6 to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is 5 over the total. So it is 5 over what? So P event is equal to 5 over 8. Why is it 5 over 8? Because the numbers are 5 and the total is 8. 
And that is what you are supposed to get. Is that okay? Mm. So, uh, if you were to say exclusive, we would have neglected the 6 and the 10 and start from 6 and 10 like to be 1, 2, 3. This is 7, 8, and what? And 9. So that is the number. Please, I'm still informing you to uh, subscribe to Calendar Man TV and then click the notification button for more updates. That will be coming your way. Is that okay? 15. Uh, okay, it says that a number is picked at random from 1, 2, 3 up to this. What's the probability that the number is greater than or equal to 10? Okay. Here, it is similar to the first one. But just that, the numbers, you have to read them. We have 1. Remember, it's not 1, 2, 3. It's 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, right? It says a number is picked at random from this set. Okay. What's the probability that it is either a factor of 16 or a number greater than or equal to 10? So over here, you should first list factors of 16. In any case, what's the n total? n total, when you count, it's not 16, you count it well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's 13. That's why I'm saying you should be very careful not to just write 16 because it is 16. Because we omitted certain numbers. For example, 3 and others are not in it. Now, let's see. We have worked this already. Similar work. He says factors of 16. So, let's see factor of 16. Let's see the factor of 16. Factor of... Factors of 16. What is that set? We have 1, 2, 4, 8, and... And what? 16. So if this is set A, then N A is equal to what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. We are making a very, very powerful headway. And so I will speed up a little bit. Okay. We are making a very powerful uh, headway, meaningful headway. So. Problem 16. This is how it goes. Problem 16. We are still on what? Probability, okay? The topic is pro ba -ti. So problem 16. It says that M, M is equal to what? 1, 2, 3, 4. Then set N is equal to 5, 6, 7, 8. And it says that if a number is to be picked at random from each set to form a pair, what's the probability that uh, of forming a pair which sum up to 8? So here, in forming the pair, it's very simple. Make, make the set like this. Okay? Make it this way. Okay, then you divide it like that. Here is your M, and M constitutes of what? One, two, three, four. And then your N, set N is what? Five, six, seven, eight. So we are forming a pair. It's like when we were doing, we, we were tossing the, uh, we were throwing the two dice together. Five, one, five, two. 5, 3, 5, 4, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 7, 1, 7, 2, 7, 3, 7, 4, 8, 1, 8, 2, 8, 3, 8, 4. Exactly. Now, some candidates, after getting this, they can decide to reform another one that will, to facilitate, uh, you know, uh, reading uh, uh, to answering. They can form this quickly. Okay. Then here is still your 
five, six, seven, eight. And here is your one, two, three, four. Then they will just be, be doing the additions. Here is what? Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you sum up. It's what? Seven, eight, nine, ten. And here is what? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then the last side is what? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, we are focusing on this side. So, after getting that, these are just the pairs, but they have just summarized it this way. So, they are now asking us a question. What's the probability that the uh, total sum of two? So, what is the total now? So, n total, we have 16 elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 16 set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is just to, for simplification. It's what? It's 16. That's the total. Probability of getting. And now we sum up to 8. Let's check. So, n sum up to 8. Let's see. I've got one. 1, 2, 3. So, n sum up. This 8 is not included. I'm talking about inside. 1, 2, 3. It's equal to 3. Therefore, p sum to 8 is 3 over what? 16. Is that okay? Sure. Then he says, uh, Factor of 24. So P factor 24. In any case, let's, uh, let's check factors of 24. Factors of 24 itself are what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. I'm not saying that is the total, but we are out of it is from this that we are going to look at it. So Factors of 24, let's check. We have 6 is part. Then we have what? We are seeing some 8, which is part in the first row. Then here, I'm seeing another 8 here. Okay, this one, there are two different 8, so. Uh -huh. Then here, another 8. Okay. Then I'm seeing 12. So how many are they? 5. Are you getting the point? We have six by corner eight means and three eight and then twelve. So if I if I if I look at it again, I'm having six eight 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 uh, twelve. So in this case, so this one we just use it for our uh, uh, to cross check, but this one should. So this is what we are looking for. So n event at this point is equal to what? That is n sum up to. What's the question? It says factors of 24 is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have P event, or probability of that event is 5 over the total of what? 16. I hope, I hope I've, I've, I've made my point. Yes. 5 over 16. Then he says a number greater than 11. So what, what are the numbers greater than 11 in this regard? It is this summation that I've summarized. Though. So numbers greater than, than what? Uh, than 11 is, I think, only 12. And how many 12 are we have? We have only one 12. So it is what? 1 over the 16. Is that okay? 1 over 16. Now, uh, we, are, we want to look at selection without replacement. We are gradually uh, making the headway. You know, <laughs> problem 17. So can, can you just imagine probability and we have solved about 17 examples. We, we are not joking. We are serious. And this is a real classroom. If you take it serious, I'm telling you, on this platform or on this TV, you should be able to pass your examination. Why should you then fail? When you are watching this, when you are subscribing to the Calendar Man TV, I am urging you to do that. It's free of charge. Do that and it will help you. Some people, they think when something is cheaper that they don't get until they pay something very big. Please take advantage of that. Selection with or without replacement. So let's go straight to the point. Problem 17, a basket contains five white. So, N whites, as I explain, I'll tell you, is equal to five. Where W is for white. So you should know that by that preamble. Then, N B, which is blue, is equal to nine. Then N yellow, 
is equal to what? 6. So n total will be what? Will be 20. When you add, you get 20. Is that okay? Then he says that if uh, three balls are to be picked at random, one after the other, without replacement, what's the probability that the first two are yellow and the third is blue? I'm repeating. There are uh, five uh, white, nine blue, and then six yellow balls. Then they mix them up. And you are going to close your eyes and pick one. You don't replace. You pick. So it is very, very, very straightforward. So he said that the first is what? In the first, he said the first two are what? Yellow. So it, it will be P, you can write first, yellow. Mm. Then P, second, uh, yellow. Then P, third, or three. And the third is what? Blue. This is what you are talking about, okay? Normally, you, you bring this representation, then after that, then it turns to multiplication. I'm repeating. There is a basket. We are talking about selection without replacement. Without replacement. That is the underlying word. The first is white. Hey, they are white, blue, and you have mixed them up. And you are going to pick them one after the other. You pick the first, yellow. You don't replace. Pick another yellow. Third one should be blue. Now, the question is, in picking the yellow, how many yellows are in the box at that point? Six. What's the total number of balls in that box at that point? It's 20. Now, after picking your 20, after picking this, the next one is yellow. How many yellows are in the container now? Because you didn't replace. So the yellow turns to what? The yellow turns to uh, what? Five. Because you haven't replaced. So the yellow has now reduced to five. The moment you perform this transaction, it means one yellow has been taken away. If it is orange, you have eaten it. So this is five. Here becomes what? 19. Because the total has also been affected. Okay? If the next were to be yellow again, you would have had what? That would also be uh, 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 like it would be four over 18. But here, he said the third is what? Blue. So how many blues are in the container at this point? We have nine over 18. Okay, so what happens is that you just pick your, 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 your calculator, okay? Or wh wh what happens is that you just pick your calculator. I want to, okay, I want to give you this assignment. Just pick your calculator. After picking your calculator, you can just compute, okay? You can just, let me see if I could be of a... You can, you can just compute. I'm just giving you a simple clue here. Just my, but here I can do cancellation, but I wanted to show you a simple trick. Okay, here we are having four here. This five is, goes off. Here, this one. I, by the cancellation, doesn't make it neat. That's why I'm. Then here is six. Okay. So uh, after you do all the cancellation, please just multiply. I'm not. I'm not in a position to just. But I want you to do that work. Multiply this by this by this. Okay. So uh, thirty by nine. 3, 9, what? Here is what? 30. So 3, 9, 27, okay? So that will be, I think, 270. I'm talking about the top, okay? Then the down also, you multiply. This by this by this. Whatever you get, I, have, I haven't checked, but what you get, the total that you get here, 20 times this is 380 multiplied by this. The total that you get, the moment, I don't know, but you try it. Whatever total you get, just click, it's equal to, it will reduce it to the lowest uh, term for you. I haven't, a computer, a computer, but I'm just telling you that that's the simplest way. Multiply six by this by this, write the answer. Multiply this by this by write the answer. The moment you write the answer, you say 270 divided by, let's say, 1,000. It will automatically reduce it to the lowest level for you. So that is that. So uh, that, that fraction, you get it. Then it says uh, all the three are white. So we have P, one white, times P, second is what? White. Times P, third is also what? White. How many white in the container? Five over total is what? 20. Times the next is four over 19. Times three over 18. Do the same. Multiply this by this by this. The total you get here, write it down. Multiply this, the two totals. Let's say I'm just assuming that the top here is 20. So here becomes, let's say it's down here, I haven't computed it. But when you compute 380 times uh, Whatever you get. The total you get here. Let's say you get uh, 
I'm just assuming. The total you get, the moment you enter this and this, and you say it's equal to, it will, it will reduce it to the lowest term for you. I want you to do that work. Then he says that uh, the first is yellow in the third case. He says first is yellow. So P, one yellow. Then the second is blue. P, two, B, times P, three, yellow again. Once again, how many yellows are in the container? Six over 20. Second is blue. How many blues are in the container? Nine over eight, uh, 19. Time, the third is yellow again. But you have taken one yellow already. So here becomes five over 18. Do the same and you get your answer. Now listen, this is selection without replacement. But for selection with replacement in the same situation, I, I just want to give you this clue because uh, uh, we are almost getting to an end of it. Here, what we have to do is that if we, we, we are to go by the same condition, and with replacement, here, like if you say we are reworking this one, how many first yellow, second uh, yellow, and third this one? How many yellows are in the container if it is with replacement? Yellows are what? Six over total of what? 20. Since you have replaced, the second one will still be six over 20. The third one, which is uh, blue, how many blues are in container? Nine, also over 20. So with replacement, the, the, the denominator doesn't change, and the numbers also do not what? Uh, 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 change. So you have to uh, uh, note that. Now, uh, I think uh, 18 is similar to that. Then, quickly, I want us to look at... Uh, there is one aspect I want you to note. Uh, I may not be able to work it with you, but I have done two set problem with you. If you are, I'm just giving you the clue about that. If you are having, let's say, set like this, as we did, here is x, and here is, let's say, 20. Here is 20 minus x. You remember that? Let's say 40 minus x. So finally, assuming you have worked and you have got here to be 1, let's say 3, let's say 7, and the total is, uh, let's say, 11. And they ask you, let's say here is math, here is English. If a student is to be chosen at random, what's the probability that he studied both of them? It is what? It is 3 over 11. What's the probability that he studied only mathematics? Only mathematics is what? It's 1 over 11. Only English is what? 7 over uh, 11. Take note. Take note. In 3 set problem also, it is, it is similar over there. So the last aspect that I want us to touch on is under the statistics. Sometimes the we are not going to solve problem on statistics, but I'm just giving you a simple clue. This is the last one that we are talking about for the for the statistical, you know, a, a, a distribution table. We bring the probability to uh, an end. There is a question here. So problem 19. Problem 19. Let me draw it because it's very very important at this point. Okay. Problem 19. Here is the max x, and here is the frequency. Then, he said here is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Says for 1, 2, 7, 3, 2. Okay. Then he's asking us that if a student is chosen at random, remember this one is in percentage. The moment this question comes, you should first know the end total is the number of students here. We have 6 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 2. When you add, what do you get? Here is 11. 11, 20, 20, 25. So end total is what? 25. That's the total. So the total is not here. You add the total here. Then he asks you, why is the probability that the student got 30 percent here? Then it means N30. N30 percent. Why is the number of people who got 30? It's 1. So P, people who got 30, not the 30, P30 is N30, which is 1 over N total, 25. Okay. P10 or 60. How many got 10? 
probability of 10 or 60. 10 is here. 10 people who got 10 are 6. People who got 60 are what? 3. All over your 25. And you got 9 over 25. Then it says people who got modal mark. When you say modal mark, the number of the highest uh, frequency. So why is the highest frequency? Here. So people who got modal, modal is the, where the highest frequency is. And we have what? Modal mark. We have 7. The modal. I'm talking about people with the greatest number here. The mode. Why it is mode? We shall do statistics and you understand it better. It will be 7 over 25. People who got modal mark. People who got the highest mark. Probability of people who got highest mark. Highest mark is 70. So the people who got highest mark 70 is what? It's 2 over 25. Why from the 25? The 25 is the summation of the number of students who uh, patronize in the examination. At least 40. At least 40. The lowest is 40. So we start from here. So people who got at least 40, the least is 40. So it will be this plus this is what? 9, 12, 15. So at least 40 will be what? It will be 15 over 25. I'm repeating. At least 40 will be here. The least is 40. So we count the number of people here. 10, 15 over the total. When you work it out, that's what you get. Or what about if I say at most 40? The highest is 40. Like it will be this plus this, which is 10, 13. So 13 over 25. Is that okay? I've already taught you about at most and at least. Mm? At most 30 is what? At most, highest is 30 is what? This by this by this over that, that two times. Okay. Then the last one that we are, are, I'm, I'm talking about and bring my work to an end for today is this. Uh, you know, there is a similar work of this nature. Why the table, you see it in a group frequency. I think very soon we shall be doing statistics and all those uh, plane geometry and others. You understand it better. But this one, the way it was put, hmm, we have the table like this, okay? This is example 20, 20, which is the last one of the probability that we are doing now. Where we have the max, x, and the frequency. You say 1 to 10, mm -hmm. 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50. Then 51 to 60. Then we have the respective frequencies or number of students. 6, 4, 1, 2, 7, 3. That is asking us question. If a student is picked at random, what's the probability that he scored between 11 and 30? So between 11, we have to know the total once again. Here is what? 11, 13, 20, 23. So n total is equal to 23. Is that okay? This one you should have done. So I'm just giving you a clue. That's why I'm moving a little bit faster. The total is 23. Between 11 and 40. Between 11 and what? Uh, between 11 and 30 is what? Is this. Between 11 and 30 is this. So n... Between what? 11 and 30 will be 4 plus 1. So P event at this point is 5 over, sorry, 5 over your 23. Is that okay? Between 11 and 30. That's it. Then it says at most 30. The highest is 30. So at most 30 will be. You know the total is 23. Highest is 30. So it will be 10, 11. So 11 over what? 30. What about if I say at least 31? At least 31. The least is 31. So starting from the basis. They cannot say at least 40. No. At least 30. The least is the, it starts with the least side and move on. So at least 31 will be what? You add this to this, you get what? Uh, 9, 12. It will be 12 over 23. Is that okay? So that is... Uh, then, you know, there is a three-side problem which I've already spoken to you about on several occasions. On this note, we've brought start, uh, what you call probability to an end. I'm not saying that's the end of probability, but what I'm saying is that at least this has contributed a lot to your learning experience. And I strongly believe that if you follow it and then you subscribe, share the message to your friends in the various 
secondary schools, if you are, you are junior high student, you are, it is also beneficial to you. Because every topic that I will be treating, I'll make sure that the JHS, you, you also get your, 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 your what? Your, your, your share with it. And I told you that I have a mathematics book, that's the Calendar Man series, the practical called Mathematics for Senior High Schools and, and, and Colleges. I'm off mic a little bit, and I want to show it to you once again that this is how it is. The practical called Mathematics for Senior High Schools and Colleges. That is my mathematics book, okay? A very big math book indeed. It, it's having my picture at the back with a lot of explanations and even said we have about almost 100 working exam uh, uh, trial questions and so many of, of them. If you, if you call this number, that is a 27 you'll be able to grab your copy and then you, you learn it. Thank you very much and I, I, I be expecting that we shall be moving to quadratic, in, uh, I think quadratic and other, we have quadratic to treat, we have the statistics also to treat and you'll be having a very useful experience. Try and follow us and all the topics that we'll be getting, we'll be getting them. Thank you very much for your, your time. Thank you.